Hey, what's everybody doing a, um, a response video to Ron Haggerty? Uh, he did a show me five broken glass on the cover or back cover of the record. So, I tried not to repeat anything he had, but I didn't have a whole lot to work with, so I am going to have to repeat one of the two that I happen to have in the collection. Um, haven't really been on here doing anything lately, even though I have gotten some mail recently and um, went to the store and listened to a little bit, but I've had a killer toothache the last week or so, which has not exactly made me feel like talking a whole lot, um, which anybody who actually knows me is, that's a big deal for me not to be talking a lot. So, my wife is in the background just snickering, kiki kiki. Ki. So, uh, anyway, <clears throat> I will have another um, video probably in a couple days for uh, just some recent spins that I'll, that I'll have been doing since uh, today. Um, and then hopefully next week I'm going to have a friend of mine over and we'll have another uh, video um, album cover concept that I won't reveal until that day. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get into the five that I picked. I'll go ahead and get the repeat out of the way. Um, one of the two that I had that he had. Um, this is one of the very first records I picked up, and it was the first ACDC album I, I picked out when I started um, collecting and blow up your video by ACDC. And now he, he mentioned the song Two's Up, I think he said was his favorite off air. I think um, maybe Kissing Dynamite or Heat Seeker is probably my favorite two on here. Um, there's a lot. Like I said before, I, when I did... Uh, the underrated albums, I think. I think this was on, on there. I thought it was a very underrated album. But there's my repeat. Getting that one out of the way. I really don't like plastic sleeves, especially the ones that have the adhesive crap. Alright, so the second one, you're going to have to kind of take my word for it because it's more kind of assumed that there's broken glass in this one, but I'm going to count it anyway because it's my video and I do what I want. So... In this video, there's or in this uh, on this album cover, there's a lot of like destroyed buildings, and I'm assuming these buildings had broken glass. So Megadeth, peace sells, but who's buying? As you can see, like right up here, there's like buildings broke, and I can guarantee that there was glass somewhere in those buildings at some point in time before all hell broke loose. So that's my number two. Uh, number three, uh, the first. Scorpions album I think I ever got um, which was not one that I paid for a friend of mine Chris Volan um, sent to me Scorpions Blackout as you can see there the broken glass hell of an album too in fact the first three all all of these are actually really good albums great albums in my opinion I'd probably I'd probably put all all five of these probably somewhere within the top 40 or 50 um, records that I that I like Another one, um, this has a Ron theme written all over it, apparently. Um, <clears throat> the first Death Leopard that made its land in my collection from him. Uh, Pyromania, as you can see, the glass coming from the blown up building. For some reason, every time I see this album cover, I always think of Die Hard. I don't know why. Maybe just explosions and buildings in general. And the last one, you can even bring a Christian rock band into all this. Petra on Fire, and you can see the broken glass on there too. For the longest time when I was a kid, I really thought it was ice. Because um, I had the cassette, so everything looks a whole lot smaller, obviously. But I'm pretty sure it's glass now. And especially for this video, I'm, I'm going to call it glass because I can. So anyway, those are the five that I picked. Ryan, I hope you are amused by these and if anybody else wants to jump on his thread and not copy mine anyway thanks for watching and god bless